Okay, so in this video, what we're going to cover is how do you transfer settings into and out of one of the Recloser controllers from Noja Power using the CMS software. Um, so in order, once you've already got your device file set up, um, if you need to see how to do that, you can check out the video on how to create a device file. Um, but you'll see here that we've already gone online with the device file. Um, we have a serial number, uh, it's a real field device, and I've right clicked on it to go online. One of the things that is important to learn the very first time that you start using CMS is how does the file system get managed between what's on your um, device manager in CMS and what actually lives on the controller uh, in the device that you're connected to. So I have drew this terrible PNG paint diagram that I've used a lot over the years to be able to explain how the system works. But basically what it does is that CMS tries to keep a history of absolutely everything that you do. And the reason that we do that is so that if you ever need to go back to previous versions of the settings, then we've got a copy of that stuff ready for you to go. So in this box, the orange box here corresponds with CMS device file, specifically one where the serial number matches the online device. Um, and in this case, because we're connected to a live device, we're using working in this box here, and I've got a link to an online relay, right? So in the system, we have both offline settings, which if I click back over here, lives in this tab on this side. So these are the things that you can modify and put into the controller. But if we go back, we can also see that there is a settings history. And this is a log of everything that's ever been done, um, all the settings that have been uploaded or downloaded into the controller in the field. Um, you've got to remember this time around that when you're doing, when you're pushing settings into a controller, it's a download operation because you're downloading it to the relay. And if you're retrieving settings out of the relay into CMS, then you're doing an upload um, out of it. So whenever you do a download from your offline settings into the relay, a copy of the download is saved in your settings history, right? And if you do an upload, which is something I recommend the first time that you ever go out to one of these devices in the field, uh, just so that you've got something that you can refer back to in case you want to revert back to the settings as what they were when you arrived at the site. Um, they live in the settings history too. So the first thing that I want to show you how to do is how to go to a relay device and do an upload into your settings history. So we go back to this side here. You see I'm online with real field device and of course this, um, this set of menus up the top of the tabs is contextual. So it's associated with real field device here. If I switch across to the other one that I opened earlier on, then you'll see that my online capabilities have disappeared. Um, so it's important that you've got the correct one here. So there we go, real field device. So I can do all the online controls and so on. Okay, so if we want to do an upload, so we want to pull the settings from the device into the um, CMS device manager, you go to upload settings over here. And you'll see that all of the different settings parameters and history and all the rest of it, um, that is automatically ticked here. We automatically bring everything up out of the controller. So we click Start Transfer, all right? So that is then pulling all of the settings out of the controller and storing it in the settings history, which if we flick back to this side here is this component associated with this CMS device file, all right? So that is an upload operation that we've done. If I go back, you'll see that now I've got a timestamp for that. So I did it 10.02 and we have all of these individual uploads. And of course, if I click into any of those by themselves, you'll see that it's basically the same as what an offline settings configuration looks like, except it says historical settings down the bottom and when it was uploaded. So you've got a timestamp on there. Now, um, to new users of CMS, they often wind up in this place and then try and change individual settings and say, oh, sorry, why is it not, not accepting the changes? But that's because this is your historical log. You can't change the settings history and that's because you don't want to corrupt the old history. If you actually want to edit the settings that's in the controller, um, then what you need to do is you have to bring what you've uploaded across to this offline settings component here. So in other words, we're going to copy from what we've uploaded 
into the offline settings, which actually overwrites the state of the offline settings for that device file. So let me show you how to do that. So we go back here, we'll go to our device and it's the copy wizard here. So we're gonna copy, firstly, I mean, in this case, you basically just follow the wizard in order to be able to make it work. Um, so we pick the real field device, we go next, and you'll see that we can choose from either the existing settings, so this is how you would copy, say you wanted to make group one the same as the other groups, um, or alternatively, in this case, what we wanna do is take the most recent uploaded settings. I'm just gonna take the group settings here just for simplicity. We pick next, and we copy it into the same device file, so into the same zone here, the only difference is that this time around, we're gonna copy it onto the offline settings. And because I picked all the groups, it automatically picks it across. We go copy, and that is then copying the settings and overriding what's in the offline settings. Um, in there. So that's done. Great. So now what you've got in the offline settings here is exactly what I extracted out of the device. All right, so what we've done is we've gone online, we've uploaded the settings here into the settings history, and we want to modify them offline, so we've copied them to the offline settings, which is the place where you modify the settings. All right, so let's say that we now, we've made our changes. I'm not going to go into doing that in this video. If you want to check out some of the other videos on how to change settings, then um, there's plenty of them uh, in our YouTube channel. Um, but what you can do is go across, close that one there, we have our device file here and we want to push the settings into the controller in the field. So we go across to connection, we go download settings. So when you download the settings, this time around it's a little bit different because what you can do is you can select the settings that you want to um, push through into the device. So I'm taking the device there and I'm going to start the transfer. So I'm pushing the new group settings that I've made the changes to into the relay, all right? But at the same time as pushing them into the relay, CMS is creating a copy, a snapshot of what that data transfer looked like and saving it in this settings history, which are these guys over here. So if I open any of those individually, this is not a direct link to the relay, but it is a copy of what you downloaded into the relay um, at that time. So you'll see, again, historical settings. So if I go back to this thing here as well, you'll see that when we do that download, the new settings that's in the relay is the same as what the offline settings is, but we also taken a snapshot of that and stored it in the settings history. Okay, so that's great because what it gives you the capability to do is to be able to see everything that's ever been downloaded and uploaded into the device. So if you make a mistake or mess with the settings and want to set it back to what it was before, you can just go to your first upload because you'll always remember, um, listen to Martin, make sure you do an upload when you reach the site. Um, but any of your other changes that you do, they can all be stored in there. And the beauty of it is that if you ever need to export, if you export a device file out of CMS, this whole history goes with it as well. So if you want to send it to a different group or you want to send it to us in order to have a look at it to see what's going on with it, if there's any problems or if we can help you out, then we get a copy of all the information, which makes it really easy. So thanks for watching.